about going to uh, the StubHub Center where it's uh, small as far as seating capacity and not Qualcomm. How do you think that'll feel for you? We're going to play a game. Regardless of where it is, we're going to play a well-coached team. Um, so I know a lot about them. So let's ready to go play. How has uh, Jake Butt looked the last couple of days in terms of taking what he's learned and applying it out there on the field? He's done a great job. Um, you know, we had to kind of pull him back a little bit yesterday. He was so excited to come out there, and he's kind of been that way the last couple of weeks, the way he's moved around, you know, his individual drills. And, uh, you know, he knew he was getting closer and closer every day, and then he got out there, and we had to tell him to slow down a few times. But it's great. You just, like we talked about last week, you love his mindset. You love the way he prepares. You love everything about him. So we're excited to get him out there whenever he's ready to go. Frank, is there an identity that you can point to in this offense right now? Or is that something that evolves and changes from week to week? Well, I think we're going to change from week to week on how you try to win. You're always trying to, you want to have balance. You know, everyone wants to say how many times you can do this and that. And you maintain balance to a certain point. And then as the game goes along, that changes. What can you do against um, you know, Melvin Ingram and Joey Bosa to, to have better success than the first time around? Well, they're two of the best in the league. Um, you know, you've got to do a great job of, you know, making good, quick decisions with the football. You know, you're going to help in protection certain times. You're not going to help them every single play, but you keep you mix it up a little bit um, and keep them off balance. But you can see the success they've had this year. It doesn't surprise me one bit. Is Charles showing he's ready for more and more as these weeks progress in terms of his health? And he showed he he showed he could play all year long. You know, since he's you know since we started playing and uh, he's done a great job and. You know, kind of go with the flow. We're going to play multiple guys, so it's going to change from week to week, like we've said from day one. But he's done a, a very pleased with where he is. Could he be more of a weapon in the pass game with Emmanuel out? So you're looking for maybe a third guy. You want me to tell them what we're doing? Come on, well, we can't. I can't more, tell them. I mean, we got a game this weekend to play, right? <laughs> no, we got a lot of talented players, so we're going to try to spread the wealth as much as we can. Is there a potential to run hot hand approach with the running backs a little bit, especially with Devontae Booker seemingly? Adding more now, especially in the past game. You kind of go with the flow. You know that's going to change. You know, are you playing up tempo? How does the flow of the game? You know, how is that? How are each of the backs playing? You know, what style of running game are you in at a certain point in time? So, I, I don't have a, a perfect answer for you to say hey, this is exactly how it's always going to be because it's going to change all the time. Trevor has said that multiple times he knows that this team will be in the game if he doesn't turn it over. How do you talk to him about staying aggressive but being smart and you know kind of balancing that? Well, you've got to go out. I mean, as, as a quarterback in this league, uh, you're playing about some great defenses. We talk about these two guys, the pass rush guys uh, with Mel and Joey. They're going to be coming at you. you got to make good, quick decisions. And we're going to live with every decision he makes. And we're going to, it's not going to be the last time you throw an interception. you just got to respond, go to the next one. And you've got to be aggressive because I think if you, if you play cautious, it's going to hurt you that much more. you just got to go out there and make good decisions and do what's best and um, go from there. No, we got a lot of confidence in the guys we've had. We've played, you know, you always ask, you know, through the training camp and through the preseason games, you rotate guys during games at, in certain positions. Uh, this is why, to get those guys ready. And we've got a lot of confidence in the guys that we have. Last year, how did being around Antonio make Hunter Henry a better player? Well, Antonio's special. He, he is, Antonio is one of the best to ever play the game um, at all positions. You know, the, the record. That he has, um, but just the way if you, you know, the great thing about him, and I learned this in 2013, even training camp days where you gave him the day off of practice, you come off the field, you know, he's always on the treadmill run and doing his little routine that he was always in. So, um, you know, he there's a reason why he's been successful for such a long time, and I think that only helps younger players. And the great thing about Antonio is the way, you know, that he helps the younger players. Um, not just at the tight end position, but other positions when they ask him questions about certain things. Uh, he's unselfish. He just wants to win and help the team win any way he can. So for Hunter, uh, you know, he's a very talented player, but then to watch this guy every day, um, and there's times where you got to tell him, hey, that's the way Antonio does it. That's not the way you're going to do it, but um, he's a special player and he's a, he's a great guy to be around and great to be the team. You always get adversity in this league. How yeah. have you seen Trevor dealing with it from his position as quarterback as you guys went through a tough stretch here offensively? He just moves on, and that's one thing I've always told the quarterbacks: Hey, you've got to go out there and play aggressive. You're gonna, we're gonna miss a pass, you know. And I'll just say that it's, it's not always the quarterback's fault for an interception, you know. And we're not gonna be pointing fingers or anything like that. We're, we're an offense here. We're gonna throw some interceptions. There's gonna be a play that may not be perfect, but you know, sometimes on the outside you look at certain things, and it's like, well, that's an awful pass. Well, no. You know, someone might have slipped. There might have been a protection error or something that he got hit. So there's a number of different reasons that go into 
um, you know, a mistake in a game, not just interception, but a run play that may not work or something that happens. Um, there's a number of things that go into it. So it's not just one guy. When you're churning up yards the way you guys did last weekend, uh -huh. not scoring points, yeah. can you give us a sense for the level of frustration it creates and how a team deals with that? How much of a challenge is that dealing with it? Well, the one big message I have to the players all the time is, is just play the next play. Regardless, you know, whatever the results are in a game, any game you play or after any rep, you just move on to the next play, the next game, whatever it is, and you've got to go. You've got to have thick skin in this business. Um, we haven't finished drives in the red area like we, we wanted to. There's plenty of opportunities or plays to be made. There's certain things that are covered. Um, you know, you talk about certain plays that maybe we might miss a pass. Is there a certain reason? There's a protection breakdown. Was there, you know, a mistake on a route? Um, so there's a number of different things. So. We're going to coach the guys hard and be brutally honest with everybody in here and look at ourselves first, each position, and say, hey, you know, how do we each, each individual perform better? Not just in the red area, but the entire game. And, um, you know, we, we've got to start scoring touchdowns. We've moved the ball. Um, we, we've all seen that. We've been going up and down the field at times. We've got to finish in the end zone. Okay, thank you. Thanks, Mike. All right. Thanks, Mike. Thank you. Thanks, Coach.